Hello, and welcome to Drunk on Tea. Today, I'm going to show you how I painted up this flesh golem for the Necromantic Horror Blood Bowl team. To start with, I primed him with black spray, and now I'm coming in with some Corax White. I'm going to paint all of his flesh. This is going to take a couple of coats. This paint is quite thin, but you do want good coverage. So just work your way around the model, picking out all of the skin with two or three coats of Corax White. Make sure you catch all of his skin, including this down here on his legs and his foot as well. As you can see after the first coat, still very see-through so i'm coming back in with a second coat to ensure that i do get good coverage over all of the skin and once you've got a solid base cover all over the flesh with corax white the next thing we're going to do is come in with some reichland flesh shade for this i'm going to apply this over one half of his skin so for this model i'm doing face the upper torso and stopping while I get to those stitches across his body. He's also got a foot that's been stitched on so I'm going to catch that with a shade of Reichland Flesh Shade. Once that's dried, that's half of his skin shaded. It's given a sort of pale, deathly look. So next, I'm gonna come and do the other half of a Thonian camo shade. So this is all the skin up to the stitches that we didn't do with Reichland Flesh Shade. So make sure you give all of this one coat of a Thonian camo shade. that's his skin shaded so he's now got the two tones of deathly looking skin so now i'm coming in with some deep kin flesh and for this i'm just going to highlight all the sharp edges of his skin so anything that we want to be a little bit lighter have a little bit of definition put to it just work your way around and catch all of those raised details with a thin coat of deep kin flesh You're catching all these details here like his eyes, his ears, his nose and his bottom lip as well as these pronounced muscles here on his chest. So just work your way around, give them all an edge highlight of deep kin flesh. That's the skin lighted up. As you can see, it's really given him that sort of deathly look to his skin. So now we're going to paint the eye. 
So I'm coming in with a bad and black and sinking this into the recess of his eye socket. And then I'm coming in with some white scar. I'm going to put a line in the middle of that black we just laid down. And at this point, I'm also going to paint his teeth as well. And then finally, I'm coming in with black. I'm going to put a vertical line in the middle of his eye to act like a pupil. And that's his skin and face completed. Nice, easy way to paint dead looking flesh quickly and easily. So now I'm coming back in with black and I'm going to paint everything else. We may have got some white or shades over in the previous steps to bring this back to a solid base cover. Just work your way around the model, painting everything back to black that got some white on it. And with everything now blocked back into black, we have a solid base coat to start working on for our other colours. So first of all, I'm coming in with Corvus Black. And with this, I'm going to paint all of his armour and his trousers and his boot. So give all of the armour panels that are on his body and his trousers and his boot a nice coat of Corvus Black. Be nice and neat at this stage. You don't want to get any of this over any of the skin that we've already painted up. Now with the armor painted with Corvus Black, the next thing I'm gonna paint is his socks. These are the only part that carrying the team colors. So I'm coming in with Wild Rider Red, and I'm gonna paint this on his bit of sock that's showing. After a couple of coats of Wild Rider Red, got a nice solid cover all over that sock. So now I'm coming in with Dryad Bark and I'm going to paint all of the wood. So he's got these couple of splints, he's got one on his leg and one on his arm. So catch both of those with a couple of coats of Dryad Bark. Next, I'm going to paint the stitches that are on his body. So for these, I'm coming in with Steel Legion Drab. I'm just applying a little bit of this to every one of the stitches that's on his body. Be nice and neat with this. Don't want to get this over any of his skin. Just work your way around and pick out every one of the stitches with some Steel Legion Drab. Now with all the stitches painted, you can see that it's added some separation between those two colors of his skin. So next I'm coming in with Mournfang Brown, and for this I'm painting all the ropes that are on his body. So he's got this one here around his waist like a belt, and he's also got a couple holding on all the bits of wood. With Mournfang Brown I'm also going to paint any of the bits of leather that he may have sticking out next to his shoulder straps like these ones here. So just work your way around and coat all of these with some Mourn from Brown. Mm -hmm. 
with all the rope painted next step is we're going to paint all of the metal so for this i'm coming in with lead belcher and just catching anything that's metallic so he's got this strip here on the top of his helmet it's also got some spikes and nails all around the rest of his armor and his body so just take your time and pick out everything that we want to be metallic with a base of lead belcher With all of the silver painted, it's now time to shade what we've just done. So for this, I'm coming in with known oil. I'm just applying this to everything that we just applied the colors to. So that's all of the armor, all of the metallics, all of the rope, the wild rider red, and all of the wood that we've just base coated. Give all of that a shade with known oil. So now I'm coming in with Bane Blade Brown and I'm going to highlight the wood. So for this, just find the most raised grain on the wood and give it a thin coat of Bane Blade Brown. with the wood highlighted you can see it's added some definition to that wood so now i'm coming in with some wild rider red i'm going to put this on the socks where the shade didn't settle so where the shade settled leave that in the recess on either side of it come with some thinned down wild rider red and bring that back up to color With that wild rider red applied you can see it's brought the color back to his socks so now i'm coming in with troll slayer orange for this i'm going to do an edge highlight on all the most raised areas of that sock fabric let's just work your way around pick out all of the sharpest edges with a little bit of troll slayer orange With that sock highlighted, he is really starting to come together now. So the next thing I'm going to highlight is all the rope. So I'm coming with Scrag Brown for this. And all the raised threads of the rope, I'm just coming in and putting a little bit of Scrag Brown as a highlight. Just take your time, work your way around and just pick out all of those raised parts of the rope with a little bit of Scrag Brown. So that's all the rope highlighted now. So the next step I'm gonna highlight is his trousers and boot. So for this I'm coming in with Mechanica Standard Gray. And just on any of the raised areas or the edges, I'm just putting a thin line of this as an edge highlight. So it's here around the bottoms of his trousers, around any of the holes, and also pronounced folds 
that are on the trousers just give them a thin coat of Mechanica Standard Grey. And also do the same around the boot as well. On any raised sharp details, just put a thin line of Mechanica Standard Grey. And that's his trousers and boots highlighted. So the next step is I'm going to highlight all of his armor. So to start with, I'm coming in with some wire flesh. I'm doing this as a chunky edge highlight around all of the armor panels. So work your way around and at the edge of every panel, put a chunky highlight of wire flesh. around his helmet, on either side of that metal strap, put a line, and around the brim of the helmet as well. So that's the chunky highlight applied. So the next step, I'm going to come in and put a highlight within that step. So I'm coming in with some warp stone glow. And for this, put a thin line right at the very edge within the wire flesh we just applied. For these sharper panels here, you can use the side of your brush. So just take your time, work your way around and put a thin edge highlight of warp stone glow within our previous step. that warpstone glows really brought out the edges of those panels. So now there's just one final step to highlight all of his armor. So that's coming in here with some moot green. For this, I'm just gonna do a spot highlight on the sharpest edges. So for this, just put a little spot at all of the corners to all of the armor panels. And at the top of these curved ones, just put a thin little line right at the highest point of all of the curves to really add some interest to these armor panels. On the helmet, I'm highlighting all of the little rivets that are on it with a little bit of moot green. That's all of the armor highlighted. There's only a couple of steps left to do now till we finish this flesh golem. So next I'm gonna highlight his stitches. So I'm coming with some Baylor Brown and just putting a little bit of this in the middle of all of those stitches on his body.
and with all of the stitches highlighted the next thing i'm going to paint up is this bit of drool that's coming out of his mouth so first of all i'm coming in with some corax white i'm just going to catch all of that and give it a solid base coat of white And then I'm coming with some Nurgles Rot and painting this all over that white to give it a nice look of some drool coming out of his mouth. And with that painted, there's only one final step and that's to highlight the metal. I'm coming in with some Stormhost Silver and just highlighting everything that's metallic with a little spot of Stormhost Silver on all the sharpest points. So for all of the spikes, that's just a bit of the end. And here for the boots, I'm just picking the very edge and giving it an edge highlight of Stormhost Silver. And that is a flesh golem completed. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And enjoy painting.